Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're doing another Java game devlog. So this week, what I, this time what I added is inventory support and lighting. So right now I have lighting disabled, so it's a bit faster. And I'm going to launch the server, that way we can join the world. So as you can see in the server, I decided to use Java FX because it just looks a lot cooler. And I added a combo box with all of the possible commands you can do. And it has the parameters. So I'm going to join the game. So play this PC. By the way, if you want to add a new server, you click plus. Display name is what you see. So for example, let's say this computer for server IP I'm gonna put in localhost and port the default port is one zero one zero and yeah so you can see that it adds it onto the screen and if I forgot what the IP was I click the information button then I click this computer it says server info name this computer IP localhost and port one zero one zero so right now I don't I want to delete it, so I'm gonna click the minus button in this computer. So now it's gone. Now I'm going to join this PC. As you can see there's a torch right here, but since I disabled lighting, it's not going to have any effect. Right off the bat you can see something's different from last time. There's an inventory slot thingy at the bottom and I can select stuff by using my scroll wheel. So if I push the E key on my keyboard then I can see armor, I can see the quick access and the storage all at once. So yeah. To use an item I hold the space bar so to shoot I would do space bar with my bow selected. So when I press space and this is that. In my old game, what used to happen was if the if I clicked really close to here, then the speed would be pretty slow, but now it doesn't matter how far or how close you click, because it uses sine and cosine, and it makes a ratio of that, and yeah. So now I'll show you the lighting. To restart the game, here. Okay. So options lighting. For some reason, I have to restart it after I change the options, but that's the way it is. And I don't know why. Sorry. Okay. okay. As you can see now, everything's a lot darker, and there's a radial gradient around the torch however i'm getting really bad fps because when it when it goes above it shows how many it needs to do so right now it's 149 out of 60 so that means that it needs to do 89 more frames and updates every second for it to be caught on track so yeah so the torch animation is working and there's a radial gradient around it it affects the alpha layer, so yeah. Again, I can I can shoot and do a bunch of other cool stuff, and yeah, that's about it for this Java game devlog. So if you liked it, or if you have any questions, then be sure to leave a comment. So yeah, goodbye and thanks for watching.